Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my weekly memory plan with me in my A5 wide planner. So this is an Oristel and I have it in the color Lilac Daydream with the gold hardware. I am going to be using this beautiful printable kit from Paper Crown Planner. I think it's a beautiful kit with the kind of peachy pink tones and the kind of soft yellow and the sage green. Um, you can see that I've used a little bit of this kit already in my work planner and I really like how this kit looked in my work planner so I'm excited to use the rest of the kit here for my memory spread this week. I love the bottom washi, super, super cute. And you do get um, the different hair colors and skin tones. So I really like that. She gives you the tall girl boxes as well, which I may use, I'm not sure. There's a ton of beautiful boxes in this kit. So um, I feel like there's a lot to choose from. And then I love this page as well. Here's your icons and also some more functional bits. So that is the kit that I'm working with this week. Um, this is the washi that I picked out for this week. This is all from Simply Gilded. Um, these four, I believe, are from the Paris in Spring sub box. So they all have gold foiling. This one has the cute bows and little bicycles on it, which I think would be really sweet with this. This has the perfect kind of sage green color, and this is actually a perforated one, so I'm excited to use that as my headers. And then I brought these two just in case I want to use it. I also brought in this one, which I believe is from the dollying box or something like that so it has the same um, colors of the floral so i might use that too so that's the washi that i'm working with this week all from simply gilded um, i do have my sticker albums here my reusable ones and then also this one from simply gilded um, so that's what i'm going to be working with so let's quickly get started so if you missed last week this is what last week's looked like i used a kit from prince petticoat bandit with some rose colored days overlays and some pink room co washi and i think it turned out really beautiful the inserts that i'm using are from my shop anna jolene printables on etsy if you would like to get this insert then you guys can use the code save 10 to save 10 percent off of your order so i'm using the vertical weekly from my shop and i will leave the link to the paper that i use for my inserts down below so I'm just going to pull out the pages and let's get started with the plan with me. Okay, so we are going to be planning the week of May 24 to the 30th today. And I'm just going to get started right away with the bottom washi. This bottom washi is so sweet. I love the kind of gingham there with the florals and peaches. This is such a cute kit. I actually bought this kit last year and it's one of my favorites so I decided to use it now. I'm going to start on the date covers as well. So for this week I actually had quite a bit going on. Some of it was kind of unpredicted so I actually um, quit one of my um, review sites that I write for this week. Like I said, I wasn't really planning on it. There, I have thought about it in the past just because the workload can be too much with my, with my work as an author and my work as an author assistant. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a professional book reviewer and I did review for two sites. But this week I actually quit one. So yeah, so that was the major change for me this week. I am going to grab this little box here with the yellow gingham and add that to the sidebar here. Now to decide which washi I want to use. I think I'm going to go with this one, the dollying one, because I haven't really used this in a spread yet, so I think it's a perfect opportunity to do that. I'm going to be cutting my washi here with the Simply Gilded ruler, 
I always get asked about that, so I just wanted to mention that once again. So all of my washi has gold foiling this week, and I feel like it's the perfect color for this kit. I think the gold just really lends itself well with this kind of peachy kit here. So let me grab my weekend banner. I'm just gonna pop it here, a little bit over the washi, because I like how the foil kind of pops through that. Okay, so now let's move on to the full boxes. There are quite a few options to choose from. For the sidebar, I have all of these. Got the tall girl boxes here and these ones. So I don't even know where to start. They're all so pretty. Okay, let's see. Maybe I will go with this one on the sidebar, the little dress with the sandals and the little saddle bag. I think it's so sweet. I think that washi I chose matches perfectly with that. So pretty. Let's go with the soft yellow background here and then I do want to bring like a green one, green background next. I really like the kind of polka dots here. So as always I am going to stagger my boxes which is what I tend to do. I think I'm going to put the girl on the top so you do get the different options of skin tones and hair colors. Um, I don't mind using all of them. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, let's use the florals, I think. Or this yellow one's pretty cute too, the lemonade one. I'll go with this one just because the other ones already have lemonade on it. So uh, we'll go with the gingham one. I think I'll go with this one here at the bottom, the pink. I can already tell that this is going to be one of my favorite spreads because I think it's just so, so sweet. And then let's go with this one. Up here. And then I think I'll go with this for the last one at the very end. All right, so that is the full boxes down. And like I mentioned, I am going to be using the Simply Gilded Washi that came with the Paris in Spring box as my header this week. So this is what it looks like. It's actually perforated, so if you just give it a little bit of a tug there, it actually comes apart really easily. And then you can just um, pop it down. So. This works with any vertical planner that has the 1.5 inches. So this will work perfectly with my inserts in my shop. So I'm just gonna put them either at the top or the bottom of my full boxes just to add a little bit of the foiling. And I love the color of it. I think it matches perfectly with this kit. The design kind of has like I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a fleur-de-lis in a way, but it's not quite a fleur-de-lis if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to tug two more off here. And let's just add that. to the last two boxes. Okay, so now let's start to go into the sidebar. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is I am going to add this Paris in Spring washi. It kind of has the Chinoiserie print in like a very pale pink color. So I feel like it matches pretty well with the kit. Super cute. I am going to go in with one of these yellow checklist here on the side and that is to mark down my to-do list for the week and then I think I want to add another one so there we go just like that 
So I am going to just quickly write in my main focus. The pen that I'm using is actually from the same box. So that washi that I used, this one right here, matches the pen perfectly. And that is from Simply Gilded. So for my focus of the week, I actually had a A6 and finance insert release in my shop. So if you guys don't know, um, I do have an Etsy shop where I sell printable stickers and also inserts for ring bound planners. And I had a release on Friday, so I had to prep for that. Um, I also wanted to quit UTC. So that was the review site that I um, used to review for. I actually quit this week. Um, and then I had to renew one of my books. And then I also wanted to finalize my upcoming book release, which is In My Dreams. So that's coming out at the end of this month. So I was really working hard to get that finished and finalized after it being edited. So um, I wanted to make sure that it's ready for the formatter. So at the bottom here, I like to write down the books that I read this week and this week because it was so busy, I only read one book and that is Breaking a Badger by Shelley Laurenston. So this is a paranormal series. So this book is part of the Honey Badger series. It's going to be coming out later this year. So I had the privilege to get it early for review purposes. So, so even though I have quit one of my review sites that I write for, um, I am continuing on with the other one just because that one is not so taxing. It doesn't require as much um, time and preparation as the other one. So um, that one I, I know that I can still keep up with. Okay, so now let's move on to the Monday. So on Monday, um, a couple of things were happening that day. One of the things is that I had to renew a book. So I am going to grab these two types of boxes. So I am going to mark down that I had to renew with this little cute box there. So I have marked that down. It was also Victoria Day here in Canada. So it's a holiday. So I'm gonna write that down. Unfortunately, I had to work even though it was a holiday here, but I did enjoy some fireworks later on that evening. So that was really nice. I'm going to go down here with one of these boxes and mark down that I edited my A6 setup. So this is a setup in my Oristel Scarlet. So I know I promised this setup a long, long time ago, but because things have been so busy with my upcoming book release, I wasn't able to do it. So I finally had a chance now. So I am gonna use this little sticker here. I believe this is from Paper Shire. And then also to prepare for my um, release in my shop on Friday, I worked on my listing covers as well as drafting the listings. So I was able to finish that on that day. So I am gonna go into my Etsy section here and I know that I have these really cute Mochikichi characters. I think the colors work perfectly with this kit. So I want to mark that down and we'll just pop it here on the side, just like that. And then the last thing that I want to write down here at the bottom is that my Hobonichi Weeks plan with me went up. So I am just gonna pop that down there. Video was super popular, so if you haven't checked it out, I would highly suggest it. I love my Hobonichi Weeks. I've been using it all year round. So now let's move on to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I actually started with filming my Hobonichi Cousin Weekly Plan With Me. So I actually did quite a lot of filming this day, so I'm gonna mark that down. And then after that, I actually filmed a Cousin Daily Plan With Me. And we're gonna go into my YouTube section here and find a sticker for that. I think this one here would be perfect. That is from Very Cute Designs. And then I am gonna use this little fan sticky girl 
there for the second plan with me that I did. So going down to the bottom, I am going to use this little bow paper clip box to write that I finalized my book. So this release is going to be from my Moonrise Beach series. So if you guys haven't checked it out, I would highly suggest it. All my books are available on Amazon and they're also free on Kindle Unlimited as well. Um, at the very bottom here, I am going to mark down that I quit UTC. And let's see what kind of sticker I can use for that. Maybe like a mood sticker. I'm gonna use this little sticker here from Stationary Heaven just to mark that down. So like I said, that was kind of an unplanned decision, but I feel like it's the best decision for me as I am now. I just don't want to have too many things going on. And then the last thing that I did was I edited the plan with me's earlier that day. So I'm going to put that flag down and then let's go back into my YouTube section. And I'm going to grab this little Mochi Kichi character. I love these characters because they fit in like all the small places. So I really love that. I'm just gonna write edit plan with me there. So that is everything for Tuesday. Now let's move on to Wednesday. On Wednesday, I am going to start off with a half box because I did continue my editing for the daily. And I'm going to use this little cute sticker, that is Bonnie from Mr. and Mrs. Mint, to mark that down. I also organized my sticker books. So I am going to grab this little sticker here. So on this day I received some really nice happy mail from White Deer Stationery. So that haul should be up already, so I will link that down for you. So I'm going to use another Bonnie sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint, and she's holding a few sticker sheets, so that's definitely how I felt when I got that happy mail. Next up here, I do want to mention that I read, so I read Breaking Badger, and I think I will use this little sticker. That sticker is from Paper Echoes, so that is the little sushi character reading her books. And then at the very bottom there, I'm going to grab this little sticker label and I am going to mark down my little self-care night. So I do have quite a lot of self-care stickers as you can see here. So let me pick one out. I'm going to use another Paper Echoes for my little face mask. I'm actually going to lift her up a bit and we'll write face mask there. Okay, so my camera actually cut me off, but basically I just used these two washi tapes, both from Simply Gilded, and I just added them to the kind of white spaces. So this one is the little bicycle and bow one from the Paris in Spring box. I added that over here and then I used the dollying one here with the florals just behind these two icon stickers or these two character stickers to add a little bit of color and that is the same um, washi that's in here so just to bring that in I think it looks really sweet I love the character stickers I think it adds a little personality and I love the colors of this kit so far so now let's move on to the second half of the week so on Thursday the first thing that I did was I filmed a white deer stationery haul and then the next thing that I did was I filmed a printable sticker haul. So I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to use this little Mochi Kichi character for that to bring in some of the yellow. Then I worked on my B6 setup. So I have been wanting to do a celestial theme in my planner for a while so I've been collecting items for that and I finally set it up so that video will be coming up very soon I just need to film it and then edit it for that I am going to use this little sticker here that is from Papershire once again 
And then I do want to write down the video that went live that day. So my tool and twine and Ollie clip haul went up. Then here at the bottom, I'm just gonna add this little flag. And I am going to mark down that I had a lazy evening. So I'm gonna use this little Mochikichi character there to mark that down at the very bottom. Okay, so now let's move on to Friday. So Friday in the morning, I had my A6 and Finance insert release in my shop. So if you guys haven't checked them out, you definitely can pick those up using the code SAVE10. So these Finance inserts are in the personal wide size. So if there's a size that you would like these inserts in all you have to do is just message me on Etsy and I can um, make those for you this day was also really special for me because I actually joined the sweet dear stationery PR team so you guys know that I don't often PR for people but this was a shop that I really like so I was really happy to join their team to be able to promote their items on my YouTube channel here and also Instagram. So I'm really, really happy and excited about that. I have already placed my first order. I'm excited to receive them. I am going to mark down the show that I like to watch. So what I'm going to do is just grab my little TV icon here. Let's go with my favorite one from Paper Shire and just write that down. I also received some epic happy mail from Simply Gilded. So she had her mermaid release and I picked up quite a few things from there. So that package came in. I'm so excited. I also got the passport set. So I'm super happy about that. So I'm just going to mark that down here on the page and then lastly I do want to mark down that I started watching a new show so I'm just gonna pop that here at the bottom okay so that is everything for Friday so now let's move on to Saturday so I'm gonna grab this little washi strip I'm gonna add that and I'm going to write down that I ordered my sweet dear stationery so that is my first PR pack. So I'm excited for that to come. I'm just going to add a little bit of washi just to break up that part of the page with the beautiful bow and bicycle washi from Simply Gilded. Then I am going to mark down that I edited my printable haul. So I have to mark that down. I also finished watching one of these shows. So again, let's go back into the TV section. And I think I will use one of these stickers from Paper Shire. I'm just gonna write that down here. And then in the evening, I am gonna mark down that I kinda had like a chill evening with my diffuser. I really just wanted to relax after the long, busy week. So I actually have these really cute diffuser stickers. These are from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. So I'm going to mark that down. And at the bottom here, I'm just going to add that Chinoseri print washi from Simply Gilded. Perfect. Okay, and then on Sunday morning, I always film my memory plan with me. So I'm going to write that up here. So I'm just going to grab another sticker from this section and I'm going to use this little sticker here from Paper Shire to mark that down. Next up I'm just going to add this cute floral washi strip to add some deco and then I am going to write down that I filmed another um, Simply Gilded haul. So I'm just going to grab this little Mochikichi character and write that down just there. And then after that, I also purchased a new bag. Um, I ordered a new Rebecca Minkoff bag, so I'm super excited about that to come in. So I'm going to use one of these stickers here. Um, I think I want to use this one up here. 
because I feel like it would match the kit the best. And that is from Paper Shire once again. Rebecca Makeoff is my favorite brand for handbags. I just really like the quality. They're not too expensive. And I just really, really like how they wear. I have quite a big collection of Rebecca Makeoff bags, so I'm excited for that bag to come in. The last thing that I wrote down is my memory plan with me. So that went up at the end of that day. So I'm really excited about how this turned out. I think it looks really cute. I am now just going to pop this into my planner and we'll see how it looks like. So that is what the spread looks like in my planner. I think it's super cute. I really like the kind of um, pale yellows and peachy pink tones with the sage green. And I think the washi that I chose this week is just the perfect match for it. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. All I'm going to do now is just add in a little bit of the deco that is included in this kit because it's just too cute not to use. I think this is definitely one of my favorite colorways that I have in a kit. I just think it's so sweet and perfect for the warmer weather. So that is everything for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this little plan with me. Once again, if you guys are interested in purchasing these printables for my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order from Anna Jolene Printables on Etsy. And if you guys are interested in watching my previous plan with me, then I will leave the playlist at the end of this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!